How do you uh, make sense of what is going on in markets right now, specifically as it relates to 2022? The story was fixed income volatility leads to equity volatility. But for the last month, we've had significant fixed income volatility again. Equities have been pretty darn quiet, though. What's what's going on? Is there is are we at an inflection point in how markets are looking at these things? Well, I mean, I think part of the problem is it's hard to um, you know, it's hard to be rational um, with with stocks and valuations and, and pricing of stocks when you know the, we, we've had so much irrationality over the last three years. I mean, we were printing money like there's no like there's no end in sight. Um, and you know, you're, you're, you, you have a patient, which is the market, which is addicted to low interest rates and doesn't want to believe it's going away. <laughs> so because of that, you're going to have stocks that, I mean, we, we've had some sell-offs recently after Powell came out and said he's going to do some more rate increases, but you don't really get the sense from the market that they actually believe. I mean, that, that's kind of where we are right now. And, uh, <clears throat> like they think he's going to do a 180 at any moment. And I think that is a, that's a dangerous game when the Fed chairman tells you X and you're betting Y. And I, I you know, it's just and bonds are a little much, a little more of a rational way of looking at stuff. I mean, bond prices. You're saying bond prices have been going up because the yields have gone down recently, right? Is that what you're positive? Uh, the, the the other side of things. For the last month, you know, we've seen yields blow out to the upside, which in 2022 yields up meant bonds went, meant stocks down. It hasn't yeah. really hasn't really been the case this month. It's been stocks have kind of just treaded water, even with higher yields. Well, because because of that, I mean, I I would just say this, um, you know, pay more attention um, to the to, to the bond market than the stock market. I, I just don't trust the stock market as a, as a good in, indicator, particularly short term. It just trades off of headlines, and uh, you know, it's just it. I I would be much more. Um, you know, worried about what's going on with, with bonds. By the way, yields are kind of up today. We're still below four, though. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting thing to me. Let me the ask- fact that we're below four to me makes me think, and I know they've been creeping up lately. Makes me think that uh, you know the market, even the bond market, isn't isn't quite sure whether we're going to have a recession or not. You know what I'm saying? No, and and, and the other things that I look at, it, again, when you when trying to make sense of what's going on, you know, whether it's just your corporate spreads over treasuries or your high yield spreads, th- there's no fear in that market in, in, in anywhere that you look. And so I'm, I'm trying to reconcile, hey, we think there might need to be 200 basis points of cuts next year with, well, we're still trading high yield bonds within 3% of, you know, investment grade. There's just a lot that doesn't really fit together. It's a very messy market right now. Am I am I wrong? Yeah, I mean, and, and by the way, there, there's technical factors involved, including the fact that there's a, you know there's so much money sloshing around still from the last sure. three years of money printing. I, I mean, listen, the Fed has made uh, made its job so much more difficult. I mean, what, what's the object? The Fed doesn't really care about stock. It shouldn't care so much about stock prices. What it does care about is keeping you know employment. Um, high enough where you don't get massive inflation. So now it's on the kick that it's looking to keep, make sure that we, we don't have, you know, inflation that's embedded in the system. It made its job so much more difficult by, by just, just throwing money at, at the problem on top of fiscal stimulus that to get the market to react rationally to all this is going to take some time, I think.